for court at a time like this at your young sweet age 13 years you'd be preparing to have a dangerous cultural activity circumcision you'd be driven mercilessly by ruthless women towards the stream while your own mother celebrates that you're moving on to the next level womanhood at the stream that 81 year old woman would glare at you and force your legs wide apart as she rubs her greasy fingers over your clitoris. She would pass that blunt blade across it, chop it off and throw it in the stream. And you would be there excessively bleeding, crying, yelling and screaming for help, but no one would seem to be moved by your pain. 90% chances you die. But with ICAT, you can prevent this. Female genital mutilation can be conducted in four different forms. One, any type or manner of cutting of the clitoris. The second one, any form of cutting the clitoris, inclusive of the Libya minora. The third one, any form of grazing, piercing, or cutting the female genitalia. And the last one, narrowing down of the vaginal tract by cutting and relocating the Libya. This is quite this is human degradation and violates human rights. ICAT focuses on sustainable development goal number three, which is health. Health ensures good health and well-being of an individual at every stage of life. Female genital mutilation and cutting refers to the total or partial removal of the external female genitalia for non-medical reasons. The health, immediate health consequences of, GM, of FGM include shock, hemorrhoid infections and psychological con consequences. The long-term effects of FGM include chronic pain, primary infertility and complications during childbirth. FGM victims can send distress calls to, to the relevant authorities by clicking the panic button in the app. According to the 2014 Kenya Demography and Health Survey, it estimates that the national prevalence of FGM is at 21% among women aged 15 to 49 years old, from, down from 27% during the 2008 survey and 32% during the 2003 survey. It is mostly common among it is mostly common in rural areas at 26% and than in urban areas, which is at, which is at 14%. It is mostly common among women in communities such as the Somali at 86%, Samburu at 96%, Maasai at 78%, and the Kisi at 84%. The ICAT app provides features that help prevent and victims of FGM. We have the panic button that sends the stress calls to the re relevant authority. We also have the re report button that any FGM case can be reported to. We have the rescue center button that provides the, the victim with the, with, the, with the relevant rescue centers around the area. We can also help, you can also help us by clicking on the donate button. My name is Ivy Akin. I am Makrin Akin. I'm Cynthia Awo. I am Stacy Akin. And I'm Purity Christine. And we are the Restorers. Restorers.